Today on Voiding Warranties, I solve the second most annoying thing that gets drained and not refilled in the house, the cat's water dish. Voiding Warranties, where some of our things even work. In fact, some of them are even good ideas. How many times does this happen to you? You wake up in the morning and there's this rawr, 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 cavitating sound coming from the cat's water dish. Happens to me way too often. It's really easy to take a cup of water from the sink and fill this thing up, but nobody seems to do it and everybody ignores that noise until dad comes around to fill it. Well, have I got a solution for you. If you saw my video on the self-filling Keurig, then you recognize this. It's a little float valve. You can find them at your local home improvement store. Now, if your water dish doesn't look exactly like mine, my instructions for how to modify it to add the float aren't really gonna help you. So you're gonna have to be creative here. Find a place where you can mount this where it will both open and close within the range of water that you have to have to keep the pump from cavitating. Now, here's where it gets fun. I don't know about you, but I kind of envisioned a world where the cats knock over the water dish and then it's dumping gallons of water onto my kitchen floor for hours, literally hours until anyone notices. So I avoided all that. The cavitating will stop in a minute. It's filling now. There we go. But instead of filling from the tap, this is filling from a water jug. Now, how did I do that? Well, it's really pretty simple. I took a 1 8 inch NPT fitting and then I tapped the water jug. The little spout on here is just perfect for a 1 8 inch NPT tap. I tapped it, I put my push to connect fitting in there, and voila! Then I used the push to connect fitting to connect a water line, this is just ice maker line, down to the float valve. Just like I did for the Keurig behind me. And it all works. In fact, the only issue I have with this is someone has to fill it from time to time. But if the cats knock over the dish, that's only two gallons of water on the floor, and I can live with that. Now, if you don't have a 1 8 inch MPT tap at home, you can probably do the exact same thing with some JB Weld. Good as new, bright as rain, everything works, and no more cavitation sound in the morning. If you've liked this episode of Voiding Warranties and have found it useful for your actual everyday life, then please click like. If you want to see more videos like it, click subscribe and you'll get updates from me from time to time. And if you want to tell me how I could have done this better, please leave it in the comments below. And don't forget, I have a group on Facebook called Voiding Warranties, where I have pictures and discussions on projects I'm currently working on. Until next time, keep on voiding warranties.